Wow! Hi everybody, it's me. I've risen from the dead. I am back here on YouTube. I am planning on just uploading about once a week, but I am so excited to be back. I had to take a break, um, a year and a half long break apparently. It, YouTube is just so hard and with everything else going on in life, I just really needed to crack down on Instagram. I post tutorials all the time on Instagram, um, but now I'm wanting to get back into YouTube. So I hope you're just as excited as I am. I'm going to be posting once a week. That's my plan. And uh, yeah, let's get into this tutorial. I decided to do a Haunted Mansion inspired tutorial because they got these cute as heck earrings off of Etsy. You'll see them later on in the video and it inspired me to do a teal and purple inspired look because, you know, the walls, they're like, or the, the, the teal and black stripes and then the purple and black wallpaper, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my thing. So I use my P. Louise base. Guys, any discount codes I have, I'm going to put them at the very bottom of the screen and also in my description box for you. But I started with my P. Louise base, which yes, I like to use a lot of it because I like to go really heavy handed with my eyeshadow. It does not crease throughout the day for me. I have no problems with that. I used my Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Palette. And then I also used my Spoiled Lips Cosmetics Diary Palette. And now I'm cutting the crease with a white P. Louise eyeshadow base. I just go in with a very small brush and get really up in there and go really slowly and just I'm, I'm just patient to make sure I get a really nice and clean line and then I just pack the shadows right on top of that. I like to pack shadows guys. I try not to swipe and swirl too much until I have everything laid down. Then I will go in and kind of start you know doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions but to initially lay everything down, I pack it down to make sure it sticks to the base, and then I start going in and blending it out. It took me years to kind of get to this point with my eyeshadow. Um, it's just a lot of practice. I tell everyone that all the time. You just gotta practice. Now I'm taking this Acid Rain P. Louise base. I love these ones because they do dry down. You do not have to set them with anything. I love to use them for the lower lash line as well. I personally always put shadows on top of it, but regardless, whatever you do, it doesn't matter because the bases, they don't get cracked, they don't get weird, they stay perfect. I'm taking my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Studio, which is a purplish glitter, and I am just lining my cut crease. I love to line my cut creases with glitter because I think it just makes it look a lot more clean and adds a little, you know, a little something else. Why not? Who doesn't love glitter? I'm just kidding. I know there's a lot of people who don't love glitter, okay? I just really love glitter. I took a teal, a very light like mint teal color from ColourPop a pencil and I put it in my waterline. And then I took the, um, I think it's that, this one's called Nitro, the Acid Rain P. Louise base, and I used that for my lower lash line. I like to do that because I have really dry under eyes and sometimes eyeshadows won't stick. So using a like thick, sticky base underneath on my lower lash line and then putting shadow on top of that helps make it look more dramatic because you know your girl loves drama when it comes to makeup. For my highlight today I'm using the Artist Couture Gold Digger Diamond Glow Powder. It has a gold tint to it and the reason why I chose a gold highlighter is because the earrings have yellow on it. Like the ghost's eyes are yellow so I was like oh a little just a little touch of gold would be real cute. And I do highlight all over my face guys. I am dry as a desert, okay? I don't get oily throughout the day, so you know, if you get oily, you don't have to put on as much highlight as I do. You don't have to put highlight on your forehead, you know? Do you, but for me personally, I am so dry, I want to look glowy and dewy, so I put highlight pretty much, I should just put it all, I should use highlight as my setting powder. I don't know what I'm doing. Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes a little bit. And I'm using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. It's double-ended. I really love this mascara. I like the length and curling side the best first. And then I'll go in with the volume side after I apply lashes just to fuse everything together. But I'm actually really liking this mascara. For lashes today, I'm using my Lethal Lashes Widow Lashes. Yes. And I do apply lash glue on the actual lash strip and then on my lid. I don't apply the glue on my natural lashes. I just apply it on the lid where the lashes are gonna be sitting. Lashes lift really easy for me, so this is just a way to make sure they don't move anywhere throughout the day. And I personally don't have any problems like when I take my lashes off, no lashes come out, okay? I'm good, I'm fine. It's all good. 
We're moving on to these lips, honey. I'm lining my lips first with a dark purple lip liner. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's called Wild Grape. I love the Laura Mercier lip liners. They are some of my favorites. And then I'm using my Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in Deviant Damsel from Wet n Wild. It's just a deep purple, but how cute are those earrings? I will link the shop down below in my description box so you guys can go check her out. I'm also setting my face today with the Glow Coco Hydrating Mist from Huda. It was my first time using it and I actually really liked it. Just beware because Huda stuff has a really strong scent to it, so yeah. And I also get questions about how I put my lipstick on with my lip ring. I just wipe it off after I'm done. You know, that's it. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, this is my first tutorial in about a year and a half, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was really fun to do this. It just takes me a little bit longer, obviously, to edit these, so I'm only gonna be doing them once a week, but I've been getting requests about YouTube again recently a lot, and I thought, what a better time to start rather than before Halloween season. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.